Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about how the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time, how they feel about you, what are their intentions towards you. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate for every Capricorn watching and not every reading here on my channel is going to resonate for you. So let's see, Spirit, angels, guides, messages please for Capricorn. Capricorn, what do they need to know? Wow, victory lap, an unexpected event. Poor wise coming towards them. Paralyzing fear, interesting. So we have victory lap, which is all about success, recognition. And then this is uh, the tower, which to me is uh, my, um, this is unexpected event, but to me is like my tower card. And then we have paralyzing fear. So someone is, I feel, scared of whatever is coming, despite the fact that there's victory here. So that's interesting to me. It's almost like this is the best option, but someone's still scared. So let's see. Tell me more for Capricorn. Spirit, who or what is coming towards Capricorn? or what is coming towards a Capricorn. Wow, Page of Cups. What else for Capricorn? Six of Pentacles. The Hangman. Hmm. Again, it's almost like someone knows what they want to do here with the Six of Pentacles and the Page of Cups, but I don't feel like they're doing something about that right now with the Hangman. It's like they're thinking about it. Let's see. Why is this Page of Cups here? What's this Page of Cups about? Justice. Yeah, this could be an apology. Libra energy here with Justice. And with the Justice card and the Six of Pentacles, you know, a rebalancing, making things right, making things fair and equal. Again, tell me about the Page of Cups. Okay, we have the Empress. Interesting. So whoever this is, they're they're approaching you and thinking of you as an empress energy, which is someone with a lot of worth, value. The empress has it all. Can I get one more for the page of cups? Okay, what was that? Two of swords, two of cups. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. I feel like in their mind, I'm, I'm getting two messages. The first message I'm getting is like, when they do come to you with this cup, you are not interested. You're like, nope. Others of you, if you are interested, it's almost like this person's undecided about coming forward, despite the fact that this is a very strong connection. And I say that because we have the paralyzing fear card here. So that makes sense to me. All right, so let's see. What's with this Six of Pentacles? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Two of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Interesting. I feel like this might be a continuation of the last reading that I did or one of the recent readings that I did for you, Capricorn, where it was like this person could not make up their mind. They weren't sure, they, they were going back and forth. I don't remember the title of the reading now, but it's a recent one that I did. And I'm, I'm getting the same energy here, especially with the Two of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. It's almost like hesitation. Can I get one more for the Six of Pentacles? Let 
Where's the Six of Pentacles here? Eight of Cups. Wow. So this is someone deciding to walk away from something. Maybe they've been waiting for the right time to walk away from a situation here. Leaving something behind. I th again, I get that like, this person's unsure of how this is going to go. If this is the right idea. Why is the hangman here? What's this hangman about? About the fool. Yeah. This is going to be a risk for this person or a whole new beginning for this person. And I think they're just thinking of how it's going to go. Hesitating here. Or maybe they're a bit stuck. And it could be due to fear. Let's see. Tell me more about this hangman. Why is the hangman here? Oh, okay, I got two. Five of Swords, King of Cups. So I feel like they, they, they're, um, the Five of Swords is a card about failure. It's a card about things not being fair. Someone playing dirty or trying to take advantage of a situation. Um, it could be a card about, uh, you could interpret it also as deception. But with these other two cards, with the King of Cups, I'm not getting that. Um, I'm not getting that this is um, like a negative energy. What I'm seeing here is this person is worried about failure. Bottom of the deck, I have the death card. Again, change, um, transformation, endings, Scorpio energy here. It's like someone, yeah, it's like someone knows they need to make a change to be happy. But why the hesitation? I mean, clearly it might cause a tower, this walking away, this change. Let's see. Tell me more about this person that Capricorn is dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person? Capricorn is dealing with spirit. What do we need to know about them? Pathway. Yeah, this person is choosing a path. I feel like it could go either way. <laughs> this path leads somewhere. That's the Eight of Cups, I'm thinking. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person. That Capricorn is dealing with spirit. Tell me more about this person. Okay, we have Sagittarius ruled by Jupiter. So this could be that you're dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, they might have Sagittarius in their chart, or this is kind of like the Temperance card, which makes sense with the Six of Pentacles and the Justice card. Tell me more about this person. What do we need to know about this other person? Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hmm. Okay, so once again, you could be dealing with an earth sign or someone that has the traits of an earth sign. Very grounded, stable, slow is what I heard. Bottom of the deck, considerate, thoughtful, and generous. Yeah, that's definitely earth sign energy. <laughs> I'm picturing like a page of pentacles here. Also, the Six of Pentacles is, is also here, like, you know, giving something to someone, which is right here. Um, earth signs are very uh, rooted. Rooted, firm, stable, grounded. You are an earth sign as well, Capricorn. I find it very fascinating that I got these two cards because the minute I put them down, I thought about something else. <laughs> um, that doesn't happen a lot, but it does happen where I put down a card and I see something and it's not really what the card means, but I get a message. So let's see if we get a little bit more clarity with the tarot. Spirit, tell me more about this person that Capricorn is or will be dealing with. 
Tell me more about this person. There's the Eight of Swords. Tell me more about this person that Capricorn is dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know? King of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. What do we need to know about this person? Okay, I just got a message, but I don't think it's going to resonate with a lot of people. Strength card, Leo energy. Bottom of the deck, I have the Fool. I feel like there's... um. Okay, so this is not going to resonate for everyone that's watching, but if it does resonate for you, please let me know in the comments. I feel like this is someone who has people around them. Um, people that influence them. People that confuse them. Whoever this is, I feel like they're finding courage to take a risk. And because it's such a risk, they can't decide. That's one message I'm getting. Oh, the star, Aquarius energy. I feel like this person, you know, they're going through maybe a renewal process, a healing process, or they have some sort of wish or desire here. We'll see. Tell me about this king of swords. Can you tell me about this king of swords? Judgment, yep. Tell me about the queen of pentacles. About, yep so this is a judgment call that someone's making a decision once again the same energy two of wands pathway judgment card looking at the past evaluating the past learning from your mistakes and moving forward after judgment comes the world comes the fool tell me about the queen of pentacles i feel like they're very important for some reason Yep, five of wands. Once again, there's something here with people. Conflict, drama, uh, family, friends, past partners perhaps. I feel like they confuse your person or your person's thinking of them when they make a decision. And I feel like it causes them to hesitate, to wait. Tell me about strength. Whatever this judgment call they're making is, they're trying to be logical, analytical, smart about it. They're trying to be smart about it. But I feel like their emotions get in the way. Which is funny because these two cards are not emotional cards. There is no emotion on this deck, on this table right now. That sounds so weird, but <laughs> there's no cards that make me think of feelings here. Just awakening reality. Can I get one more for the King of Swords, actually? Spirit, tell me more about this King of Swords, please. That's way too many. Can I get one more for this King of Swords? Okay, so they want to give me two. So, Ten of Swords, yep. And the High Priestess, exactly. So this is a, a in, internal, internal realization that they're having. And I feel like it's leading them to close the cycle with the Ten of Swords. And that's going to require courage. Tell me about strength. Oh my god, that's way too many. Tell me about strength, please. Why is strength here? Strength to, or courage to be free. Secure, confident. Ah, look at all this yellow. Seven of Swords. Interesting. I feel like um, this person needs to be sneaky or clever. Strategic. Like they need to run away, escape. Why am I getting this energy? But I am. It's like they need to run away. Like to avoid the fallout or the consequences. Let's see, where's all of this headed? Spirit, where is all of this headed between Capricorn and this other person? If this is resonating for you, Capricorn, let me know in the comments. 
sometimes I feel like when the readings are really specific, I, I fear that it won't resonate for, with anyone, you know. Um, let's see. Where's all this headed, Spirit? Where's all of this headed in the near future? Two of Swords. Queen of Cups. Where's all of this headed? Once again, this indecision, you know? It's like someone is has still not decided. Okay, I got two. The Fool again and the Magician. So, you know, it's like they know what they want to do with the Magician. They want to manifest this new beginning. What's at the bottom of the deck? I'm curious. Yeah, Three of Wands. Exactly. I'm getting frustrated with this person for you. If you've been waiting for this person, Capricorn, I, I don't blame you. I feel like they... And, you know, it's not like... um. I just don't get the sense that it's completely this person's fault. I feel like whatever situation they're in, it's not easy to leave. Or it's not easy to make this happen. They know on the other side is happiness. But that doesn't mean that it makes it any easier, if that makes sense. I feel like their intuition is strong or the intu their intuition is trying to guide them. But like with anything, and this is what, you know, some people don't understand about tarot. Tarot cannot be predictive because it relies on our actions, not just our thoughts. So, for example, you could be dealing with a person who loves you deeply, but who doesn't commit to you. And so the situation doesn't change because there's action that needs to go behind that love. If that, I'm hoping I'm making sense. And some, some people think that, okay, well, this person loves me. The tarot tells me this person loves me, so we're going to be together. And it's not that simple. You know, we are human beings, okay? This isn't a movie. This is someone that if they really want a new beginning, they got to make it happen. It's not going to happen out by itself. And it's not going to happen just because they're thinking about it. Tell me about the magician. And I feel like, you know, I love tarot because tarot is a glimpse into our subconscious. It's a glimpse into our inner thoughts and our inner feelings. And we are meant to take that and do something about it, right? Tell me about the magician. And unfortunately, sometimes that doesn't happen. That doesn't mean that tarot is wrong. It just means that that person, I mean, how many people do you know that live with, sorry, I don't mean to be going on like a soapbox here, Capricorn, but how many people do you know that are living with regrets? Like living their entire life with re regrets of, over what they didn't do. There's a two of wands again. The message is the message. No matter how many cards I pick out, it's still the same message. This is about choosing a path. And I don't think this person has chosen it yet. Um, tell me about the magician. I feel this path leads to you because I have the Queen of Cups here. Tell me about the two, the, the magician. Yep, the hangman. Just the same message, guys. And I'm sorry, I, I wish I could keep clarifying, but sometimes the message is the message, right? This is someone that has not made a decision yet. This is someone that's still thinking. This is someone that's paralyzed by fear. Despite the fact that there is success on the other side. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Capricorn. So sorry about my soapbox. You know, sometimes I just say what I feel. <laughs> and that's kind of what happened here. Um, I feel very, I feel frustration. Like, I feel like this is the energy you have with this person. I feel there like an impatience as well. Um, completely understandable. Let me know if you're tired of waiting for this person in the comments because I feel like a lot of you are. But this is the reality, right? There's, they, they still have not decided. Uh, if you enjoy the reading, if you enjoy the readings that I do here, please consider liking, subscribing. Um, I'd really appreciate it. It's a free way of supporting the channel. It helps the channel grow. It shows people more of these videos in case they resonate with them. Uh, thank you so much to everyone that does that. I really appreciate it. Um, leave me a comment if you'd like to say hello or if the reading resonated for you. I'd love to hear from you and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.